Despite the last couple of complaining videos, there are still things about Raid that I like. I still like the social aspect of it. I still like... Here and there, I do like doing Hydra. I don't really manual it, but I still like seeing big numbers. Live Arena has fights peppered in where they're actually really fun. And I also still enjoy getting new champions, trying them out, doing champion guides on them here and there. What's your favorite part about Raid? This is gonna be more of a positive video. I don't expect this to generate a lot of conversation. I don't think a lot of people are gonna talk about this. I don't think this is gonna get a lot of views because in my experience, in my analytics, and I've done this multiple times, whenever I put out bad, complaining, raging videos, people watch that. Whenever I put out positive, hey, let's think about all the great things in, in life and, and raid, nobody watches that. You guys are only interested, and I don't mean you specifically, just you in general as, as, a, as a population, are only interested in complaining or the bad stuff. That's why news outlets do so well. Now, this guy says he started playing back in 2020. I started in 2019 during the Foley Fusion. Um, well, right before the Foley Fusion. And there's so many things I personally enjoy about the game. Cool. But the best for me is that I run my clan with two of my real life closest friends. That's awesome. My brother. My uh, older brother was the one who actually got me into Raid, and uh, he stopped playing, so he left me to get addicted. We're in three different states across the US, so we talk every single day in the game, getting to strategize in areas such as Siege, CVC, Hydra. Hands down, the best part of having that continual social connection. Expanding on that, we've really built a great clan of people that enjoy conversing and coming together within the game. One of my clanmates met up with us during a gaming convention going back this January. Social aspects aside, efficiency management of how to maximize resources for the greatest return. My biggest favorite achievements were winning Sir Nick, wow, and Nergigante Archer. This was a hard one. I did a pay to win and I still lost because a Kraken just blew me out of the water. Tourneys such as free to play, although they were stressful at the time, I believe you. And uh, what are your favorite parts and experiences of Raid? Getting Lydia was great. Gives you a vibe of success in the game. Yeah, dude, when I got Lydia back in uh, 2020, I think, it was during COVID, I remember getting Lydia, finally beating that last faction war and like yelling and screaming and jumping up and down. And my wife looked at me, I love my wife, and she looked at me, she was just, her eyes wide open, like, oh my God, what the heck? And I was like, I got Lydia. And she's like, who the fuck is Lydia? <laughs> so now I'm going for Marius. Uh, good luck. Live arena, dude. Uh, yeah, I remember the hype of finishing faction wars. Yes. When it was down to the last two to three factions and getting those last few teams together and working with limited time champions or limited champ pools at the time, that was one of the most fun challenges in the game. Even with that last night revenant. Yeah, uh, night revenant was hard for me. Uh, Undead Hordes actually was also another hard one. 48 minute run, hey, you got it done. With one champ and destroy set, nowadays with area bonuses and changeable ascensions for gear, it's a bit easier, but still great mode. Still a great mode that gives us one of the best universal sets in the game, Perception. I feel like the game has changed a lot. Going into 2025 versus what it was back in 2019, I feel like there's so many things that are different. What do you guys think? Because like back then, for an example, um, the... It's a, it's a small thing, but level 60 was like the highest level you could go. There was no level 100. There were no bonus. There weren't a lot of bonuses. I think classic arena bonuses were, were the only thing. Like that 20, 22, 25% boost. If you're, you know, depending on what rank you are. But that wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot of ways. There weren't a lot of ways to boost things. Now we have live arena. We've got enchantments. We've got ascensions. All these ways to make the stats go higher for your champions. So... I would argue that more of the outdated content has become easier, like Faction Wars, right? Faction Wars, Doom Tower. I used to stress over them. I used to spend hours, sometimes days, trying to re-gear champions and try to come up with ways to beat um, some of the hard Doom Tower bosses or Faction Wars, and now I just throw it on auto and I don't really have to think about it. But it just kind of puts things into perspective, right? I was so stressed before and now it's just like, eh, eh whatever, you just throw it on the side, uh, take a shower or something. And then, um, yeah. So, uh, Night Revenant was my last faction too. I had a bunch of it, uh, I, I ran it a bunch of times to get good RNG on the Valk waves. Had Bystophis for Lockout, Bystophis? And Sinesha and Stun Set, Skullcrown, Doom Priest, Rector Drath. How many, um, look at this. So this is a, po this was a month ago, this was a positive post. Seven upvotes, 33 comments, 
not a lot of traction on this positive post. So I'm kind of like thinking about it right now as I'm as I'm going through this and I'm just like, wow, this one didn't get a lot of traction either. As opposed to some of the other Reddit posts that you can see right now, basically complaining and everybody's on those posts. So you, you see what I mean? You see where I'm coming from? Team building and progression, finding the right combos of champs, gearing them. Yeah, this is pretty fun too. Team building and progression. And it's that work up. A lot, I think a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, Raid is just an auto game. You don't really do anything. I just saw the name Diddy down here. <laughs> um, but it's just like, it still requires you to think and theory craft. And I, I do believe that that is fun, right? What he says, finding the right combo of champions and gearing them to the best of their potentials, uh, best of their potential, beating new content. Today, I had a little victory where I pulled Bambus out of the vault and used him to beat the Iron Twins. Really? Oh, and Hearts and Tronos. Satisfying. Dare I say why I actually appreciate Amius? Well, you, what, what? you appreciate Amius? Don't instantly start throwing rotting vegetables at me, please and thank you. He's the only boss in the game who still requires some thought and strategy for a late game player like me. I don't know, man. Yes and no. Everything else has been solved a million times over. You can just copy an auto team that someone has come up for you. Amius still requires some brain power and champion rebuilding. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys think about that? We're, we're trying to stay positive here, but I can see where he's coming from. Hydra as well, but I've turned somewhat sour on that area because Clash forces me to play for three hours a week. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can appreciate having to use my brain to solve Amius. One of my real-life clanmates used Bambus to clear Amius during Centrano's rotation as well. I think for Hydra, they need to give us a better AI tool so that we can program them ourselves and people would enjoy it a lot more. Specifically, they need to let us set individual champions target priority. Yeah, for specific heads when they're up, mostly uh, the Head of Decay for target provokers whenever a champion is eaten. Diddy says, finishing the last thing for the day and closing the game. That's interesting. You know, this kind of reminds me of, of um, I used to watch a lot of Dave Ramsey right, for financial literacy. And Dave Ramsey would talk about how debt is never a good thing. You know, there's some people who will say like, debt is a good thing. I can see where they're coming from. And I think in the right situation with the right mindset, with the right purpose and intent and know-how, yeah, debt could be a good thing. There's definitely ways to, to uh, leverage debt in your favor to come out on top and earn more money. But I'd say for the majority of people, they don't have that uh, discipline or financial literacy to, to make that worth it. But uh, basically, so circling back to what Dave Ramsey said, he said to um, to one of the, his callers, because people will call him talking about, oh, their debts and everything. And he was just like, oh, credit card debt. And he was just like, after you finish paying off your debt, how do you feel? And the person was just like, good. And then he was just like, exa exactly, right? If you feel good by getting rid of it, you really need to think about if you actually like it. Because you're not going there saying, oh, I... I can't wait to get back into debt again, right? It's kind of a, a stretch trying to correlate it within Raid. Maybe one of you guys can articulate it better than I can, but I feel like there's something there for this, right? If you feel, if like the best feeling for you, your favorite thing is closing the game, I don't feel like that should be the thing, right? You should want to play the game and open it up because you enjoy the game. Now, I think you and I know. You and me both, we, we get it. People are addicted. People are obsessed. That's a thing. We're not going to ignore that. Let's be real. People are addicted. It's out of habit. A lot of people just open up Raid. I'm, I'm a culprit of it too. I think Doom Tower is my favorite part of the game. I thought I thought this said Doom Priest for some reason. I can't read. Favorite part of the game, but my favorite memory is pulling Yumiko as my first ever Void Lego. That's an awesome first Void Lego. Been using her ever, ever since. Yeah. It's pretty shallow, but the art style and character designs are what we... Oh, yeah. It's pretty shallow, but the art style and character designs are what pulled me into Raid. 100%, and it what's, it's what keeps me. So, I, I totally feel him on that because I've tried other games, quote unquote, like Raid. I've tried Watcher of Realms, Dragonair, um, quite a bit. And I'm not too into them. And a big part of it is the art style, right? The aesthetics of the game don't really look like something either that I like or am accustomed to. I've been playing Raid for almost six years right now. And so I'm looking at other games and I'm not, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. And to be honest, the, um, the uh, Hell Hades' game, Fateless, I, I want to go in with the mindset that it could be really good and I like it, but I'll be honest with you, like the aesthetics don't really look like something that's interesting to me. I was looking at Jay Giggs and somebody else 
playing this game called King Arthur's Rise. And I'm thinking about playing it because it kind of looks aesthetically pleasing to me. I asked you guys in a um, in a post if you guys were okay with me putting out raid content on top or putting out King King Arthur content also on top of doing raid content still. Um, most of you guys are actually okay with it. Most of you want it. Most of you are okay with it. There's a, a portion of you guys who don't want me to do anything else except for raid, but you guys are uh, the people who don't want me to do it are being outvoted. Gotcha games give me something mindless to do every day for little to no money, but the market is full of anime <laughs> waifu weeb bait. So the sort of dark fantasy aesthetic is great. I love looking at the character models of the champions I build up. This is a really good one. In no particular order, Spudzy likes his clan, champion art, complexity, large volume of content, theory crafting, team comps, champion building, and resource man uh, resource man uh, and resource management. I don't know if I like resource res I can't say resource. I don't know if I like resource management that much. Maybe it's just something I don't really enjoy. Maybe it's something I haven't really thought about, but do you guys enjoy resource management and what specifically about it is such a good thing? I, it doesn't seem like a good thing to me. I used to be pretty much exactly the same as you. That's since been ruined for reasons I'm not going to get into. I took a year off of raid and just started doing it again a month ago. For me, it's about improving what I'm able to do in PvP or PvE, overcoming the next hurdle and then figuring out how to do that faster. I've made a global ranking top 10 on DT normal bosses a few times. Apart from that, it's building the champion collection from a collector standpoint. Yeah, there's people who just want to catch them all and appreciating, uh, and appreciating the artwork that goes into them. That and figuring out new ways to build new teams i love hydra i like making new teams and getting big numbers exactly arena used to be fun till they added mythicals and made the gap between yeah I, I feel you dude made the gap between us free to players and the spenders even bigger making different dungeon teams trying to make them faster is also fun i also enjoy building random champions and trying to make use out of them even if they're not meta my favorite thing to do is build everyone as a nuker at least once even if they're not a dps just to see how hard they hit just for fun because that's the point of playing the game right to have fun if you aren't having fun why bother playing came for the sexy girls stayed for the clan mates which happens to be sexy people. Accomplishing things in the game without spending money to rush the process. My favorite part is not seeing it on my phone screen. Fire, fire, fire.